Sketty me, bro. Sketty you. Alright, so it's 49, so it is double. Yo, Ryan just said Sketty me, bro. Sketty you. To another versus episode of Fun Bros Food. Woo! We're here at Max's. We're here to settle a debate. Who's got the better fried chicken, Max's or Jollibee's? Yes, the battle of the international Filipino restaurant chains. Let's go! <sighs> Are you doing the Filipino martial arts? Is that it? Nah. Oh. That's it. Kali's like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, that's why they, that's why Filipino so good at dancing. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> let's check out Max's fried chicken. All right, guys, so we're here at Max's Chicken. This is round one. We got all the chicken dishes in the beginning. And Max's is known for chicken, right? That's why we started with round one being all the chicken right. dishes. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what Max's was. Uh, a lot more non-Filipino would know Jolly was just because of its commercial success. I think Max's is more for your like real Filipinos. They they know the chain from back home, because mm. that's, I think there's over 140 uh, Max's just in the Philippines alone. I saw a lot of nice, families like coming yeah. out in expensive cars in the parking lot. Right. Do you think it's for people who are like, they want some of the food that you might be able to find in a Jollibee's, but like, they don't want to be in that, maybe like even that environment. environment. Yeah. All right guys, so right here we have that full chicken. We have the half chicken. I mean, this chicken already looks a little different than Jollibee's. Yeah. Obviously Jollibee's, the chicken joy, it looks more like- I mean, these, these look like smaller chicken. artisanal chicken. Yeah. They give banana. you the fresh Yo, orange Everybody slice. gets a half. Uh, of course you got the banana sauce, the Jufran. Is that how you say it? Before all the Filipino viewers uh, skewer me for mispronouncing it, I'm just gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the chicken here, you don't eat it like with gravy and mashed potatoes as much. Max's chicken. chicken. All right, naked. Now I like how there's so little batter on that, but it's falling off the bone. I heard it's brine, it's a little vinegary. That's why it's so tender. It's such a different experience than, uh, mm. than chicken joy. But chicken joy, to me, is more based off the American fried chicken, Southern Tennessee style fried chicken. Right. It's not like your your typical fast food, 12 blends and spices. The skin is not super thick. Um, it's not too spicy. Obviously you don't see that spice like injected into the chicken. Right. You know how sometimes you see the layers of spice into the fast food chicken? It's falling off the bone, look at this. Look at how it oh works, bro. Look at that. It's just, look at that. Mm. If you want a chicken done right and fried well, I would describe this. This is a chicken dinner. This is a chicken dinner. Ch chick there's chicken joy of Jollibee's, and there's chicken pieces, but this is a chicken dinner. Yeah. All right, last last word on Max's fried chicken, guys. Is it better than Jollibee's? How about this? No. It's not better. I'm not saying it's worse. I know what you mean. It's hard to compare it because. One has batter, one doesn't. One has more flavor, but one's higher quality. Clearly if you better. made me use the no. stimulus of better, no. no, it's not better. It's not clearly better. My opinion is, and I don't, I don't wanna have to do this, but like, obviously, in a way, it's better. I mean, it's, it's better quality, it's super tender. Um, I enjoy things that don't have batter too. I love highly battered chicken and, and anything else, and fries and stuff, but I mean, to have something so clean and still juicy and tasty, I mean, it's impressive. I'm gonna say gun to my head or like stuck on a dessert island. If I close my eyes and I picture a fried chicken, the one I want to eat is this one. All right, I will say this is like, it's this is classy. I, I just feel whenever I go to a fast food joint, I feel so heavy after eating. And I know this is still fried chicken, but like the eatability factor for me is here rather than the chicken joy. I can have like a couple pieces of chicken joy. This, I could demolish probably another full bird. For sure. That I agree with. Yeah. Hey. Guys, we're not even through the chicken. Yeah. That was worth the conversation though. We had to talk about yeah. it in depth. So I've never had chicken sushi. When I started on the menu, I figured we had to order it um, because Normally, when you get pork steak steak, it's like a lot of the cuts on the, the pork head. From the snout. From right? the snout, the jowl, ears even. Kind of, a lot of, kind of a lot of weird facial parts. So yeah. obviously, ch chicken sea sick, I'm sure there's not beak 
ground up in there's not beef but they they, they did add liver uh, mm. and i am a very big fan of chicken liver okay yeah. the dark uh, part is the liver, chicken liver. liver liver that's a chicken liver not winner winner chicken dinner it's winner winner chicken, chicken liver. liver all right chicken seasick no i'm not a regular chicken salad okay so the first thing that hits you obviously you get the uh the chicken flavor mm -hmm. but like David said, there's this like vinegary tang that kind of permeates like through the whole entire like bite. And then there's this like little bit of kick. One more bite. I got a liver up in there. Right. That is by far the most interesting chicken salad I've ever had. <laughs> this is also the only chicken salad that I've ever eaten with rice. That so from chicken sisi, something that we never tried before. So we're going to chicken adobo. Which the classic chicken adobo. Oh, man. You know, I thought it was interesting because there was the egg on chicken. Ooh, you you eat the baby oh. and the mom. Yeah, this is, this is the one. People, when they go to their Filipino yeah, friend's house, house, this is what. This is the dish that's on deck. This is the dish that everybody asks for. No, this is like the one that is cooking when you walk into the yes, house. Yes. Like the mom is just, she's like, oh, I got adobo. And you're just like, oh, shit, tight. <laughs> Let's go. Max's, Max's chicken, chicken adobo. adobo. I might just have to go in with my hands, guys. Mm. Going full Filipino. Full Filipino full. I mean, the vinegar's there. Mm. The soy sauce is there. It's chicken adobo, man. Like, there's nothing else you can really say about it. It's uh, very homey. You know, there's kind of a lot of dishes in the world that kind of taste like chicken adobo between the vinegar and the soy sauce right. and, and the stewiness of the chicken. Um, Would you guys say that is one of the less pungent chicken adobos you've had in terms of like hitting you with that? Bop, yeah, like Pacquiao vinegar, <laughs> right hook. This chicken adobo, I would say, like it's a lot lighter. It's consistent. Like I feel like if you order this, it's gonna be the same like taste every, time, every yeah. single time. They probably have the formula down. They have the like, formula down. Like if cheesecake ever were to become that ethnic, where they started <laughs> incorporating <laughs> ethnic dishes, I would imagine that the best cheesecake factory chicken adobo would taste like that. Yeah. All right, we gotta compare Max's. Filipino spaghetti to Jollibee's Filipino spaghetti, okay. But uh, here we're at a sit down restaurant. Here we have the Filipino spaghetti. I can tell you right off the bat, not as meaty, not as saucy. Sketty me, bro. Sketty you. All right, so it's 11 49, so it is double. Yo, Ryan just said sketty me, bro. Sketty me. You, bro. that's not the first time you've said that. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> That's how your other side talks. I know Filipinos don't say that. <laughs> skitty me, bro. Alright, uh, here. La skitty! <laughs> La skitty! Max's spaghetti versus Jollibee spaghetti. All right, I like how the sauce covered all the noodles. All the noodles. It's a lot more balanced than the, the spaghetti from Jollibee. Less sweet. Less sweet. Still very sweet, though. Yeah. But a little less tangy. Less of the tomato tang. Yeah. Immediately, guys, I have my burger. I think that Jollibee's is better. Jollibee's is better. Jollibee's is better. I'm with jo I'm team Jollibee's on the spaghetti. I'm team Max's. Oh, uh, explain right, your explain song. Because it's two to one. Because I don't have the biggest sweet tooth, right? And for me, the Jolly spaghetti, it's just too sweet. And I felt like this was more balanced. Okay. And I mean, okay. at the end of the day, oh, it's, it's sketty. At the end of the day, it's just sketty, right? Like. When judging spaghetti, you're just gonna say, oh, yo, it's just sketty. <laughs> it's sketty. Everything's sketty. Sketty is sketty. <laughs> sketty is sketty. Well, what's the difference, bro? Sketty. It's close. <laughs> Guys, we are in a spot where they also use it as the set for Fresh Off the Boat. Oh, that, is, that is true. So, this is obviously nice. Guys, this is the lumpia. That no, on the menu, it's Lampiang, 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 Shanghai. Obviously, I do think, actually, that these came over from Shanghai. That's why they call it yeah, that. Yeah, like, Filipino food, as we've talked about it before, has multiple influences. China being a big one, Spain being a big mm. one, even Japan to a certain extent, like after occupation. Oh, in Indonesia as well, right? Indonesia yeah. as well. All the Filipino food is gonna be a mix of different cultures. Lumpia, Shanghai. You see recently Joe Koi started the egg roll battles. I challenge any goddamn Asian family with your egg roll. Chinese, I'll f your egg roll. Lumpia versus your f***ing egg, bring it. Bring your egg roll, bitch. And then, and then Eddie had to come back and say, Yo, Eddie, hey, man, hey, 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 Eddie said, hey man, those are from China. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting royalties on half of everything. I don't really compare lumpias with other egg rolls. I don't. Because they're so much smaller, yeah. and the composition is different, yeah. and you dip them. It's like tough, for me it's tough to like really compare. Yeah, I, I, By the way guys, this is the most famous type of lumpia, the Shanghai lumpia. Mm, mm -hmm. But we got another one here, I believe that is less popular, lumpia ubon. Ubon, mm. and um, 
There's even more kinds than this. This lumpia is actually filled with a uh, heart of palm, shrimp, and uh, pork. And it's, it's topped with like a peanut sauce. Really reminds me of kind of like a Vietnamese summer roll. I'm about to just eat it with my hand, man. I'm going full, full manila on this. Heart of palm, I don't know if I've ever had it. It tastes like bamboo. I almost don't want to call it an egg roll. I'm so confused right now because I'm looking at it and I'm seeing something else, but what I'm tasting is Chinese egg roll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I noticed about Max is, and I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, what, is, you the know? food is very inoffensive. Yeah. Like, there's no way you can dislike it, right? Yeah. For a nice family dinner, like, you definitely come to Max. I mean, Max is, is a chain, right? So they're they're trying to pump out food for the masses. I think if you're not in LA, like, in historic Filipino town, like, there's not as many Filipino places to go to. So this offers you that kind of, like, slice from home. And they got a very expensive looking karaoke system. There have definitely been some karaoke wars in this room. Somebody has left hurt and been like, oh no, the other guy, he beat me today. I left my heart on the floor. <laughs> I know, we gotta say it guys, you guys. This we is said it's, uh, every, there were so many comments last video because we were saying Palabok. Palabok? So Palabok, um, Palabok, Palabok, Palabok. Pancit Palabo. Palabo. Pancit Palabo. Palabo. You know what, I don't even know if that's 100% right, <laughs> but we're, we're almost there. Pancit. Pancit. This one crushed out. Wow. <laughs> this is where your flavor is. Okay. This, from what I had, ranks up there. Actually. I think for, for traditional. Um, that, that, I got it going for some more. I'm just going to stamp it right now. If you come to Max's, obviously get the chicken, but please, you would be remiss mm. if you did not get the wow. palapo. Ah. 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 Crispy pata. And that, that's a gigantic. I don't know what kind. You know, the chickens were small, but I don't know which. Kind of the pig they got this off of. Hey, when yeah. you rip this, you just gotta eat. Ah! Crispy pata. All right, guys, so here's the vinegar. Do you dip this first? I grew up with my grandparents in Woodside, Queens. My grandparents are my Filipino side. I'm a Lola, my Lolo. And we would go out to Ihawan. Uh, we would get Filipino barbecue, mm -hmm. and then we would order this dish. That's so good. That's really good. What the hell? That is oh. some of the best crispy pata I've had. Like. I'm like, oh that was sitting there for like 10 minutes first and it's still, you're, you're peeling it apart, your All fingers right, are I'm getting sticky because of the collagen and you got this little salad on the side. Uh, this and the battle ball. The battle ball and this uh, crispy pasta, they were in my top tier. Yeah. Like of, of three different tiers. Of any Filipino restaurant that, you know. I personally had, yeah. yeah. Hear this crisp. Guess what, guys? We have the kare kare. Skeddy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are like, oh, yo, you guys are little pump fans, and you're like, no, no, no. no. It's, it's skeddy. Skeddy. <laughs> I'm a fan of spaghetti. Every uh, cuisine yeah. has. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, Andrew. Hold on. What? <laughs> Before you serve the kare kare, you gotta add the bagaon, which is the shrimp paste. Oh, you gotta mix it in. Oh, my, oh. Bad. my bad, dog. So this is gonna give it like that little bit of like seafood, um, shrimpy taste. You know what I love about shrimp paste though, man? It adds something so unique that you don't find anywhere, um, anywhere else except for like dry shrimp paste. Yeah, so here's, right. the, here's the kare kare. There's some oxtail you? for you. Okay. And then I'll get some for... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Ryan. I, I didn't get any oxtails. So Did you I, I can't judge it <laughs> oh. because Papa here he just referred to himself as Papa. No, <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Kari Kari. Say that really wrong. Mm. Okay. Smooth. Shrimp paste in general, though. Have you ever tried another dish that had peanut butter in a stew like this before? There, there might be like an African stew. To me, I would just pass over it, not because I would be like, ugh, Kari Kari. I'd just be like, yeah, whatever, you know. From what I read, Chinese immigrants have been coming to the Philippines since the 1600s. Yes. And they've been coming in different ways. First it was the Cantonese, then it was people from Fujian, aka Hokkien, and then it was just like, since then it's just been kind of like rolling, right? Yeah. This is kind of like Chinese, I don't even want to say it's Chinese Filipino food. This might be Chinese inspired Filipino food. This is salted fish fried rice. This is um, chopped suey stir fry, which is vegetables. You have some pork, you have some shrimp. This is sizzling tofu on a hot sizzling plate, okay? And then you have the pensit canton, which is, I mean, I would assume the Cantonese pensit, you know, has egg noodle, like which is more Chinese, yeah. Pensit canton. 
I didn't know what to expect before eating. I was thinking okay. like maybe it's like a chow mein or like a lo mein. I think it's using the ifu noodles, David. They're a little bit fluffier and lighter. It's a very <laughs> Cantonese noodle. It is very Cantonese. That is easily better than a lot of chow mein's um, that you get. And I like that the Filipino style gave you the lemons because as you crush the lemons, that's another layer of flavor. Yeah. It's that citrus burst that you're talking about. Well, the thing is like, when you're eating things so heavy, you need some type of like acid. Yeah or citrus to like cut through fat. All right guys, here's the salted fish fried rice. And um, I wanted to get this because a lot of Chinese people and particularly Cantonese people eat the salted fish fried rice. This is a popular dish to have in Chinatown. I, it, ooh. Ooh, it tastes different. This is not the same one I grew up eating. It has some of this salted egg in there, David. Did you notice? Yeah. The salted egg is a popular thing to be eating in Chinese and um, even a lot of Southeast Asian cuisines too. So I'm not gonna lie. Wow. It was probably my least favorite thing I've, I've <laughs> eaten all day. Fair. Honestly, like, there's not that much salted fish in there, and this was like way too salty for me. <laughs> no, I, I went with the tofu next. Yo, this sizzling tofu wow. has a twist. It's like got some like creamy Whoa. coconut in there. Whoa. This is different. This is, you know, tofu is Chinese, but I almost want to say like a sriracha mayo type sizzling plate. There's definitely vinegar in it. Yeah. There's there's heat at the back of my palate. Same thing when we ate the, um, the sisig. chicken sisig. That probably is more similar to the tofu version of the chicken sisig mm. that we had. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Similar sauce on no, a sizzling like, plate. Almost like a tangy ranch. Yeah. I like this like Filipino China Express food better than a lot of like regular just China Express spots. New, new idea. Instead of Panda Express, we open a Filipino Express. Oh. Or Manila, Manila, Manila Express. Express. Uh, last but not least, we got the chop suey. All right, guys, is it funny how, David, we're eating some kind of Chinese dishes, but there's no chopsticks present? Uh, because a lot of Filipinos don't use chopsticks, they don't right? use chopsticks. Confirm. This utensil right here. That, that's the chopstick. This is your everything. You're not using your hands, you're using your spoon. All right, how's this chop suey? You see this flavor, it looks very light. That tastes like really ch like Chinese American. Yeah. Wow. What was your guys' favorite? I gotta say, for me, the, the, it was between these two right here. These two are fire. I'm gonna roll with this one, the uh, Pensit Canton. I think it took some of uh, the really good elements of Pensit, and then just with Ifu noodles. I mean, it's pretty good. And no normally, like, I'm not a big fan of tofu, so I'm gonna have to go with the tofu only because. It had that wow factor. Like, I put it in my mouth and I was just astounded. I was just like, what am yo, I eating right yo, now? Yo, you know what you, you said? I heard you say it when you ate the tofu. You what? said, Skeddy, bro! <laughs> Skeddy! All right, everybody, we are on to dessert. For what we have in front of us, we have the coconut pandan. It's got pandan in it, coconut ice cream, a little bit of coconut milk, maize con yellow, which is. Corn ice cream with, there was literal cheese in here. Your classic halo halo, ube hey, ice cream, you at the beach, flan, just shaved ice, jelly. Over here we got the saba con yellow. Saba is a short uh, Filipino banana. Definitely gotta mix it up. Desserts. My halo halo mix. Oh my gosh. Gotta mix this. Mm. Whoa. Wow. I'm so. Pleasantly confused. <laughs> this tastes so good, but I, it's so weird. I gotta say, you guys gotta try this. This is one of the best pandan ice creams I've ever had. Yeah? Yo, man, I get a side of this. Oh, man. Guys, you gotta try this. Wow. I'm trying it with the cheese. Dude, we're, we're going crazy over this cheese corn. Whoa! It's like <laughs> corn flakes. Cheesy milkshake. It's yeah. Like cheese corn flakes in a milkshake. Oh. Yeah. Like, and the cheese that they use, it's super sharp. Yeah. Like it's very sharp. Like it's very pronounced. I can't stop eating it. It's, it's kind good. of addictive. Oh, let me process it real quick. The cheese definitely adds something because it's like after you get through the iciness of the corn, you get this like chewiness from the cheese. And like it brings like a full umami kind of like salty taste to it. When it first came out, she was saying, you gotta add uh, add sugar to it. I don't, I don't think I need sugar. sugar. Yo, this banana though, the saba, wow. try the saba. Wow. 
It tastes in between like a plantain and a banana. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit more firmness than a banana. Bananas are really soft. Last but not least, it's going in on the hollow, guys. Wait, 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 wait. You, gotta, you gotta mix that up more. You gotta mix it up more. Oh, you want it all blended together. You, got, you, got, you, you don't want the chunks. Oh. Man, oh, you got some Christmas colored things in there. Mm. I gotta say, obviously, Whoa. in comparison to Jollibee's, this just swept the board. They swept the board. Are you good? I'll come. I don't like dessert. I would come to Max's for the dessert. We still got one more left to try. Is this caramel bar going to live up to the dessert expectations? Also, that packaging. So you know it's from Max's restaurant. Look at that right there. Proprietary. If you, you resell that, you know, at school, they're gonna know it's from Max's. David, tell me that doesn't kind of taste like a mooncake. A mooncake. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna be honest though. This is my least favorite. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the one they give you for free in the combo. Yeah. Yo, I gotta say this. You guys, what was your favorite savory dish? And then a sleeper. I gotta go with number one, Max's chicken. I mean, I said that it was overall barely beating Jollibee's chicken. Let me concede and acquiesce. Max's chicken! Max's chicken is, is fine. Man, there's two things that are tied for the sleeper, and I'm sure you guys also acknowledge that they're really good, is Pensit Palabok. 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 Palabuk. Book, like almost like book. Book. Palabuk. It was that and the crispy pata. Was like the crispy pata and the chicken, I would actually say quality wise are on the same level. They're incredible. I don't you even took, like you took yours. This I know, guy. I'm sorry, what this guy, to say? This guy, he just sketty me. He sketty me. <laughs> Friends don't. Sketty me. Why don't you say sketty for yours? Since you liked it so much. Yeah, dude. No, so I picked. I crispy pata? Crispy pata is my number one. And then my sleeper pick. It's gotta be the chicken sister. Oh, yeah, I, that I, was unique. I, I didn't know what to expect. There's the tanginess that came out, then the heat kind of mm. built to, it, 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 it is a resident sleeper. Okay. I have to say, and I always catch myself in retrospect, what did I just continue eating more and more of, even though we had to move on? I was, I kept eating the lumpia. Really? Yeah, like I, like, Immediately to me, it doesn't maybe set off my brain sensors like as amazing. Uh, it was good, yeah. but I'm saying that I'm just noticed that I just kept eating it. Right. Yeah. And then since everybody listed, um, I got to give a props to the Pansic Canton. Pansic Canton. Canton is good. Yeah, because it just like it was just so like it totally like freaked no. my brain in terms of like I've had chow mein uh, from the authentic version to the Americanized version of chow mein. I have like. I had it 400 times in my life, and that was the first time I had it with that citrus kick. Here at Max's, I want to say 90% of the people in here were from the Philippines. But like, I didn't even see like tables of Phil Ams. Yo, you know, I just realized why Max's isn't Glendale, is because Glendale has a lot of private school Filipinos. Glendale, Glendale is considered a upper middle class Filipino. Yeah, a, a nice Filipino opera. Yeah, it's a Hey, you guys, that wraps it up for our video here at Max's of Manila. Oh, man. Yo, Ryan, you suggested this. Uh, shout out to the YouTube comments. Yes. Uh, I saw them actually, uh, it, was, it wasn't even the, the Jollibee video. It was like way, way back. They were like, you gotta try uh, Max's. We read the comments. Uh, so definitely, thank you for leaving those comments, guys. We took your suggestion. We tried out Max's. We were overall impressed, and it was overall delicious, you know, so. Thank you, Ryan. Another Filipino episode in the can. Skeddy. Skeddy. And, and a brand new term, Skeddy, has been invented. It's been coined in this video. Uh, you can give credit to Ryan Benson on UrbanDictionary.com. <laughs> Skeddy. Let's Skeddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. If there are any other Filipino chain stores or Asian restaurant chains that we can find in America, especially the LA area, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to try them out. Uh, thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments below, you tell us. Chicken, chicken to, to chicken. chicken. Chicken versus chicken. Which one do you guys like better, Jollibee's or Max's? This is the Fung Bros. And Shout out to everybody watching for the Philippines. Thank you, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.